Hello friends and welcome back I am Faraz and in today's video I will be showing you this new advanced formula environment released by Microsoft for Microsoft Excel. This is a really amazing formula editor that will be used for Lambda, for storing your Lambdas, editing it, writing them. This is really a cool editor and I really want to appreciate Microsoft team for doing this hard work. A well done team. Uh, this is really cool and we are just loving it. So my friends, I'm here today to show you this. So we have a lot of things to cover up. We have to see that how can we download and use this add-in, how to copy and paste those lambdas in the advanced formula environment. We'll also see that how can you import the lambdas via GitHub. So if you have something on GitHub, you can just straight up get it into your Excel advanced formula environment. And then we can see that how can we share these lambdas with our friends so they don't need to reinvent the wheel again and we'll walk through the editor. I'll be putting all the timestamp in my video description so you can feel free to skip and you can just come to the topic which you'd like to see it. And if you'd like to know more about lambda, how to write them, or if you're a beginner, you can just feel free to check this video link over here and that will show you that how to create lambda. So let's get started and let's discover this environment together. Right now we are going to use it on Excel for Mac and Excel for Windows. So let's go and download that. So all you need to do is go to insert, go to get add-in and you can click over here advanced, click enter and you will find this advanced formula environment. So once you select this, you can see that this has been published on 8th of February 2022 and this is version 1 and just click on add and continue now once you add that you can see that editor is available over here this formula environment just click on got it and click over here and you can see that this is an environment experience that editor experience is over here let us try out some examples let's say okay let's got it try out some cells got it and you can see that these are my lambdas these are two lambdas which are over here so I can just expand it over here. You can take the room over here and I can edit it, write that Lambda and I can just insert it. So let me go and copy a Lambda from Windows machine, which is over here, as you can see over here. And I have this business formula Lambda where I would like to share it. I can just simply click on share. You can see the button over here, delete, rename the Lambda and you can edit the Lambda, okay? So let's go and share this copy and uh, let me close this and let me come back to my Mac over here. And when I click over here, it has options from URL and from text. So let's select text and let's go and paste this Lambda command V and import it. But till now, this Lambda is not yet available or ready to use in your workbook. Now, remember my friends, this is available only in the workbook. Okay, so whatever the lambdas you are going to paste it, it will be available in that specific workbook. It doesn't work like macro workbooks where you have a personal macro workbook and you can globally use it in any of your workbooks. It is only for a specific workbook. Let me bring over my example over here and let sync this lambdas in this workbook. Let me go over here and call my lambda now and uh, let me show you the formulas, name manager. And you can see that biz formula is automatically added. Let's call that biz formula equals to biz. And let me select this range from year to year and enter. And I got this number 19,000. Now, when I go and check my formula, it's 3.76. Okay, so I can just simply come over here, edit, and I can call this as 3.76, save. And when I will click on update, just watch over here. It's going to update that. Boom. So that is the way how you can edit your formulas and straight away update it and you can get your results. And let's say that if you're not happy, you want to get it back, you can just click on undo and you can see that it has brought to 3.75, sync again and you get that numbers again. So let's go and grab those lambdas from GitHub. Now GitHub, I have already created a lifesaver lambdas, which I call them. And I'll be soon adding some more lambdas from the community, from the expert MVPs. So they have their lambdas and I'll be adding it over there and you can see the author name and you can simply connect with them. So lifesaver lambdas will always have the lambdas contributed from the community. And if you have some great lambdas which you have created and you feel that I should add it, 
then please write it back to me on my email address or connect me on any social media accounts and I'll try to add that in this list of Lambda Lifesaver Lambdas. <laughs> so let's go and right click, simply copy and the link will be also in the video description. Let's come over here, import from URL and this also is import from URL. So let's click over here and we're going to see it in the next one that how to use this formula namespace okay so let's right now paste it import and bam this is all over here and let me sync it with my workbook sync and you can see that it has already synced it and i got all that lambda over here this is the main editor which we will be shortly talking about it so you can see that all my text and everything also has got added over here and everything is intact and in place so let's come to the manager over here and you can see that these are the lambdas available over here so let's go and grab another lambda link from chris ross from microsoft they have some lambda examples over here so i'm just going to right click copy and come back to our experience over here in the mac and let's go import url and command v add namespace now namespace are really helpful when you want to organize your lambda let's say that it is from msft or you just like msft is from microsoft so it is just going to add a prefix to it msft dot then that lambda name msft append columns msft text reverse so you might needed to organize your lambda so let me import it and show it to you how it looks so here it is msft append columns msft append rows so all this is you can organize it now when you come to advanced editor you can see that space over here so you can go and keep adding your lambdas over here what you're creating in that specific group it is help you to identify it keep you organized so right now I don't need this, so I can just simply uh, delete it. I can rename it also from here. Let's say instead of MSFT, I would like to just write MS and rename and then sync again. So when you come to the name manager, all are with MS, MS, MS. Let me close this and let's go and delete this. Delete, delete, manager, you can see nothing is over here. Sync, come here, nothing, it's got deleted. Let me import it back again now this time from here paste that url import sync all those names are over here so let me test it out the lambda which we have imported history age equals to history age open parentheses select this close parentheses enter perfect let's go for the gregorian one history age and if you like to see this formula which i have created i have a special video also on that you can feel free to check that so comma and g so close parentheses enter so you got that hijri age and gregorian age this has really made the job easy you don't need to run with the formulas just that formula which is already created you just use it no need to reinvent the wheel again let me take you to the editor experience over here this is the raw editor experience this is really lovely you can see over here all those lambdas which are ending ending with semicolons you can see all the places when it ends it gets end with the semicolon and once i select hijri age you can see that where are the hijri age hijri month in fact it's been selected over here if i go and select gregorian it will show me gregorian wherever i have written gregorian in my lambda so let's say that if I want to create a Lambda, let's first try with the UI one and then we come and try it with the editor over here. So come to the name manager over here and click on the plus sign and then write uh, my lamb. Okay, let's call this as my lamb and call the Lambda. See, this is having that intelligence. And if you click over here, you get more in detail about that function. So you can just select the Lambda open parentheses and i'm going to call this variable a uh, i'm going to give that name of that variable and sum and sum of what we would like to do of that letter a it's a very simple lambda i'm just going to add it sync it to my workbook and let's go to that example one and let's call that my lambda and just select this range close parentheses enter so you can see that it has 
added my formula and I can easily use it into the workbook. So this is over here, my lamp. And for any reason, if I'd like to bring it on top, I can just simply copy from here, X, and I can just straight away come over here on the top, enter, sync, name manager, you can see it over here. My lambda is over here, my lamp, okay. So let's go and build it in the editor experience, okay. So this is my test, test one equals to, and I'll call this my lambda, open parentheses, this is my variable E, comma, and then I'm going to call this as average, average of that numbers, open parentheses, and then that E, and then that average divided by 10. Then let's put that semicolon, come to the name manager, you can see that test is over here, but till now it has been not yet sync, okay, so I'm going to sync it with my workbook. Now when I'll call this as test, and I'm going to select this range, close parentheses, enter and this works amazing you know so this is really lovely instead of test if i would like to call this as capital test t-e-s-t -E sync and you can see that lambda has got updated so let's say that if you accidentally delete the test which is over here the test from the name manager itself not from the advanced formula environment let's go and delete it and click ok and close it and now sync okay it's not syncing you can see your lambda is over here let's search test you can see your test lambda is available over here and uh, let's remove the filters from here you can search it anywhere any of your lambda which is through this filter names and now when we try to sync it it's not working so the way is that you can click on share copy this lambda from here copy and then you can just delete it come back again over here, import from text, paste it, import, and then try to sync it, it works. So this is a way how you can let your Lambda work. And again, if we go and delete that, uh, which is the test, delete, delete, close it from here. And you can see that the test Lambda is available over here. All you can do is just rename the Lambda to one, save, sync, again rename, back to its original name, save, sync, and it works. This is a trick how you can handle it if you accidentally delete it and you have all the places and you're afraid that you don't want to lose your lambda and you have been using it linked with many formulas, then this is a way how you can handle it with this trick. I would just love to do it with this editing experience. Uh, because it's really easy, you know, I can just simply come here and change it to any value I would just like it just make a thousand update and it just bam, you know, I don't need to work on that UI It is really nice, you know, and even if you're doing it for Excel for Windows You will come across the same behavior. So no worries You can handle it in this way and it will just take care of the lambda and one thing which is very important Please give your feedback. It's really important. You can just please push your feedbacks on the feedback section. That will directly go to the Microsoft team and they will definitely look into it. And uh, they might even get back to you also on your suggestions. And one last thing which I would like to show to you is that whenever you are adding these lambdas, there's a sheet which is getting created. This is a code sheet, which has all those codes. So it is always hidden so whenever you are adding the lambda it's going and adding it over here so when you just go and hit refresh you can see that it's got hidden now so that's all for today my friends and i hope you have enjoyed this video so make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you soon in my next video till then take care happy learning bye